the past couple of weeks, we've seen signs of excess bubbling all over the stock market in all sorts of places. <laughs> to the point where I feel like devoting the whole show tonight to laying them all out for you so you're prepared, be ready. All in all, I think it's perfectly reasonable for the S&P 500 to be up 4.9% for the month of November. Given that we got a Republican sweep on Election Day with promises of lower taxes and deregulation, something Wall Street always adores. Plus, we got a rate cut from the Fed a few days later. The bank dividend seven haven't gone crazy either. They've actually been pretty tame this month. So if it's not in the averages of the MAG-7, where's all of the excess that I'm talking about? Frankly, it's everywhere. It's all over the place. We'll have a remarkable rally for one off stocks one day, then something similar in another stock the next day. You can see it on the crawl at the bottom of the screen every session, quickly after the bell and very early in the morning. And gains in the names you never heard of. And that's why this week, what, but during the weekend, what we did was this. We ran a simple screen looking for U.S. listed stocks that are large enough to talk about on air with total returns of more than 50 percent, 5 for the month of November. As of the close last Friday, there were 66 darn stocks that fit that bill, which is an insane number. 66 stocks with takeover size gains. Well, but people are really making money, provided they are also taking something off the table. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.